Hello guys, it is Fake Thriller, and first and foremost, I wanted to remind you that there are only 20 days until Battlefield 4. Man, we are under the three-week mark until we'll all be playing the full game. And in today's video, I sort of want to pose a question to you guys in general, and I'm hoping uh, basically you guys can answer it for me. Because I'm not that technically gifted when it comes to the process of how a video game is made, uh, w whether it's programming or, or really any aspect of it. I could give you a basic timeline, but I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. And the question is: Is the Battlefield 4 beta truly a beta? And there's a couple different points that I just want to make. And then maybe we can have a discussion down in the comment section sort of to figure this out. Now, obviously, um, DICE is actually, they, they've come out and said that this is a true beta. They want our feedback so they can make the game as good as possible in time for the final release. And now I have seen on Twitter and uh, I think mostly on Twitter... Maybe sometimes on Reddit posts, but DICE is actually in specific servers asking people to join to help test different uh, things, I guess is probably the best, most generic way to say it. And on top of that, they're also asking people who have problems to do certain steps with the console command, at least on PC, where you can submit your system information and then whatever this dx diag stuff is that they ask you to type in and then you can make a report and i'm assuming people are going to go through and look at these error error reports and so on and so forth this is all very beta uh this is all likely stuff that we should expect to see in a beta now the other thing on the flip side, that is kind of really confusing. Uh, on top of, hang on, before I get into that, obviously they can get an idea on gunplay with the weapons that are in the beta, damages and, and so on and so forth, and decide whether or not balance is looking good on a large, large scale. Uh, so that is obviously, e that could even be done in a demo. That could be fixed with a day one patch. Normally it's a debate between, is this a demo of the final game or is this a beta where it's going to be significantly different based on the beta period's impact uh, on the game developers data and all that great fun stuff the other side of it is and it's not so much we're asking whether this is a demo because this should not be a demo of this game in my personal opinion uh, everybody knows that this this game is pushing uh, CPUs to the 100% threshold. I have an i7 3770K. It's not overclocked, but I'm pushing it. It, it gets pushed up to about 80% or so when I'm playing uh, on medium. And I have two cross-fired 7970s, and I'm pushing like... It, it all depends on what's going on. I get like 300 frames in the menus, but sometimes I get like down to... 35 to 45 frames is pretty common uh, usually I'm a little higher than that but I'm I'm wicked wicked low on uh, frames for what I should be getting based on my graphics card setup and my CPU is relatively new and powerful and it's being pushed almost to its limit the only thing that that uses more CPU power than Battlefield 4 beta right now is when I'm rendering a video because my computer just takes up 100%. It goes it goes through the roof trying to use as much power as it can to get the video done as fast as possible. So it, it doesn't seem like that's not how you want to demo something, you know? So obviously this isn't a finished product that we're playing, but I, I just don't, I don't know. Like here, if this was actually a, a bit like the beta version, and we're less than a month away from the full release. Like, what version are, of this game are we playing? And how, like, if they're having all these issues with uh, frame rate and so on and so forth, like, what build are we playing? And what the heck are they going to be changing between now and the game's release to make this run l way less heavily on everybody's system? 
that's that's sort of one I want to know. Like, if if this is something easy that I'm missing, I'd like to know. Or is this just going to be like a like a demanding game, like a beast, uh, a hog of computer resources for the lifetime of Battlefield Four? Because Battlefield 3 does nothing like this when it comes to impacting my system and how little performance I actually get. And like I said before, I have a pretty respectable PC in terms of, of power in both the graphics department and the processing department. Um, so, yeah, if you guys could let me know, that would be great. And, uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this is just some early build and they're going to take whatever data they can. But it seems to be on a lot of people's minds that the, this game is so poorly optimized at this point. I mean, they got people running out to upgrade to Windows 8.1 because there's rumors that it, that it runs better. So, anyway, that's that. Please answer my questions in the comment section down below. Or if you can't answer the question, do me a favor and just let me know like sort of how it's running for you, whether it's on console or on the PC. Let me know your specs, uh, what you're running it with, and whether or not you've run into any problems. And uh, I think with that, I will just let you know one more time that there are only 20 days until Battlefield 4 is released. So the, the clock is ticking, Dice. You need to figure this out. Anyway... I'll see you in tomorrow's video, you guys. For those that are fans of the Battlefield Friends show, as well as other shows by Hank and Jed and Johnny Esco, you should head on over to their store and check out all of the awesome merchandise they have to offer. Hell, you can even have the Nubin gang sing Happy Birthday to a Friend. It's all in the store, so head on over to take a look, or someone's going to throw ammo at your face.